I'm gonna get on with the Moldrotha build. This will be the final video and the first video. I did a lot of selection, uh, made many selections, and uh, took out a gigantic pile of cards. Very good cards, but you know this deck is something doing something spe specific, and so I made sure that I got to the cards that I really wanted. So I think I'm gonna go for 24 creatures in this pile, then 12 enchantments. 12 artifacts, some of which I believe the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 are actually creatures. And then from this pile, which I think is like 20 something uh, cards, I'm going to get down to 12 absolutely must have uh, instants and sorceries. All right, so the easiest pile, of course, is this one. And I counted it off camera, but I'm going to count it again. Okay, so 4, 8, 12. These are all going in. All right, and I already discussed these in the first of these three videos for Modrotha. Stapled uh, instance and sorceries counter. No discussion. Mana, mana, more mana. Uh, feeding the graveyard. Mana rock. Uh, I have enough artifacts that actually I'll be able to use this every now and then. Beats face, and uh, I'm going to be wanting to do that. Uh, I'm gonna. Ha I'm not. I haven't discussed the mana, the the mana section of the deck, uh, the lands. Uh, but I would have as you know. I could have as many as 20, 30 different named lands in my build. Uh, this dude gives a counter when it dies, and more mana stabiliz stabilization. So all these cards are in. Now here, uh, these are the uh, the enchantments, and I've got them all mana ordered. And there's four. 8, 12, 15. So three of them go out. All right. I think this one's one of the guys that goes out. So that's one. Um, chant a creature. I don't have that many creatures. This one goes out. And then uh, just pick one more that is going out. Uh, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, draw a card. I think I'm going to be able to do that. So the question is, what is the weakest of all of these enchantments? Okay, and so let's let's look at Hedonist Trove. When it enters the battlefield, exile all cards from target opponent's graveyard. You may play land cards, exile with Hedonist Trove. Um, yeah, you do some casting. I mean, it's fantastic. I love it. I've I've played it, played against it. Feed the graveyard. Um, hit your opponent whenever an opponent discards so yeah this could be the one that goes out uh, otherwise I mean I like all these other ones more I definitely need all the other ones more uh, this it would have it would have come down really and all these are staying so actually let's put it this way that's four eight eleven so that's already eleven and I already said these two were out, but of these two, I would really pick which one is the one that I would want to go out. Um, yeah, I I will have big critters, not a gigantic number, but I will have them. And drawing a card, it's just so much better than anything else. And I'm not a mega discard. I'm not costing a ton of discard. So there I have it, 12, 12. Uh, then my instance and sorceries, getting it down to 12. I already have these ordered by function. Okay, so these are all my feed the graveyard cards. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine feed the graveyard cards. I've got some destruction. I would say no to this and no to this and keep this one. Uh, I want to get rid of enchantments, but I would say no to plummet. So I've got two that I have picked for sure. And a couple that I've already gotten rid of. And then my counter spell sweet, uh, I would take it down to uh, not six, which would be 10% of my uh, non land permanent. I would take it down to four. So I would say, um, so this these are always better counter spells than just regular cancel. So I take these two out and leave four. Uh, regular one blue blue counter spells okay so that's six uh, then tutor is in 
seven. Um, I need some card draw. Uh, this guy is in eight. Okay, and then and look at that. I mean, I'm rejecting a lot of good stuff, folks. I mean, these are all really good cards. Uh, but then I I got up. I only I'm down to four. Uh, feed the graveyard cards. All right. Top five, top five, top five, top four, but it's got flashbacks, so I'm going to say that's one of them. Top five, top five, top three, return a creature or land from your graveyard to your hand, so it's out. Top five, so these are all top five, and I got to pick three. Okay, I got to pick three. So this one's only a two drop. Okay, so that's great. This one's a two drop. Three drop, three drop, three drop, two drop, two drop. Okay, so I said, okay, so I've already got, I'm gonna do a count, because I suck at this, eight, nine, so three, three cards from these. So which one's the worst one of the, of the four? And I would say that I'll make, I'll take, I'll take something else out because I really need to feed my graveyard. So I'm actually going to keep them all. And then I'm going to go back to here to my enchantments and take this card out or this card. So one of these I'm going to pick out. Okay. And I would say that I'm going to take this one out because it's a maybe. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it requires setup, whereas these two are going to give me things that I really need. Feed the graveyard, mana stabilization. So I'm going to take this out. So I'm actually going to go in with 13 instants and sorceries instead of 12, just because I really have to feed my graveyard. And these are 36 permanents. I mean, 36 cards. Non-land cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I got 36, and then I got 24 critters from this pile, including Muldrotha. I set Muldrotha outside, so it's 23. And it's almost like making a constructive build of singletons. Okay, so I'm picking 23 cards out of here. I'm going to say I want my bo both of my mana dorks. Not sure about this guy. Yes about this guy because it counters stuff. Um, yes, because it feeds my graveyard. Um, it looks at my opponent's hand, but I'm really going nuclear on this. It's got death touch, but I'm still going nuclear on my selections. Feeds the graveyard. Yes. It does look at my opponent's hand, and that does help. I'll take one of these. Um, I'm going to say no. Uh, yes, it's Narcomiba. I mean, needs no introduction. I want to do a lot of surveil, too. And this guy is just fantastic. And also this dude. This dude is great. Also very good. Um, yeah, I want to play a bunch of lands. Why not? Um, Want to do more explore? This guy is great, feeding stuff, death touch. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I love my deck is your deck, but I'm not doing that as my central thing. Uh, this guy is great. I'll take him. Take him. I already have some death touch, so I'm gonna say no to this card. I need my mana rocks. I need some disruption. I need this too. I want to be able to tutor. Always tutoring is great. I'm going to say no to this guy. I'm going to say yes and yes. I'm going to say no to this critter, incredibly enough. I'm going to say yes. Uh, I'm going to say no because I'm being super, super picky. Yes. And I'm going to say no to both. Uh, and I'm going to say no to this card. Even though it gains, gains me draw, I am just I just need what I need. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, not sure, so I'm going to say no. And I'm not sure I'm going to say no. Quite a beater, but 
I'm being very picky, so I'm going to say no, and I need the flyer, and I need the flyer, and I need the flyer. So where are we now? Are we at 23 or not? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30. So we need to get rid of 7. Okay, so let's get rid of 7. I'm going to get rid of explore. So that's one. I'm going to get rid of this. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Because I need all these dudes. So I got rid of some great stuff. I mean, look at look at the pile of cards that I got rid of. These are all great cards, but in a Modrotha build, I need my enchantments and I need my artifacts uh, because I want to be able to swarm out of the graveyard. I mean, even this dude went out. I don't know. Should it? Let's think about that one. That's the, that's the one that I really regret. Uh, not making it. I love this guy too, but that's just a dream, you know, dream boat. And yeah, these are all great cards. I mean, my deck is your deck. I love it. But I just need to be super, super picky. So those are out. No, you don't. What? You said you have to be super, super picky. I do. I've got a lot of really good cards to select from. So it oh, can. Yeah, 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 you didn't hear. Yeah, so so can this guy get back in after I s get made super hardcore selections uh, of cards to keep? Is there something in here that's the weakest link in the chain so I can put a super duper critter in here? Okay, and I'm having a difficult time seeing that because I need my flyers. Even though this guy is a gigantic beater, and it's got trample, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, gets plus one. T I mean, that's good. How often am I, am I really gonna play a second land? In a turn, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna take out this guy. I, I, you gotta sometimes make difficult choices, and this is one of them. This guy's out because uh, this dude is too good. It's just too good. Okay, so that's my deck, and I think I have time to go through the final selections. Okay, and so I'm just gonna show you guys because this is how I love. This is why I love Modrotha. Something like Modrotha, you're in three colors. It does some real stuff. Some of the three color commanders are kind of lame. And many of the two color commanders also are lame. Uh, this card just does good stuff. And you want to have fun building to it. And I do. So look at that. These, none of these cards made it. And they're all really great. By themselves, you could probably build two other commander decks out of these. And you'd have fun and it'd be good. Alright. But uh, then what made it. Okay, I'm just going to go through them one by one but quickly is really good stuff you know just a uh, fantastic cards had tutor are strong feed your graveyard protect I mean this dude is great I mean these cards are awesome flyers big dudes it's another robocall. Man, the robocalls are getting big again. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, so I'm going to stop right here.